So an important thing to consider, especially when you're about to clamp a piece of material into your chuck, is you need to make sure it's secure and it's running true, it's aligned with the lathe. So if we were to place this piece of material in the chuck, I don't want it to I don't want it to be um, off kilter, I don't want it to be leaning one way or the other, because as soon as we start spinning this chuck, obviously the workpiece will start doing that. And if, if we're spinning the chuck at something like 2000 RPM, it will really, really start to go, it will vibrate and probably eventually throw itself out of the chuck. We don't want that. Now we're lucky with a three jaw chuck because when we place our material in, these are mostly self centering so when we tighten it up, especially if you've got a good piece of material, the material should sit fairly true. So if I close that over and if I turn the lathe on, you can see it's fairly straight, it's running pretty parallel. But in the case that it isn't, what we can do is you can use a cop uh, hide mallet to give it a gentle tap one way or the other. But in order for that to happen, you need to know which direction to tap it in. So, what we can use is we can use a DTI. Now, a DTI is a dial test indicator, and generally they come on a magnetic stand. So this is our DTI here. You can see the stand's made up of a few simple components. There's a magnet on the bottom with a switch, in most instances where you can turn it on or off. So now the magnet's on, I can't move it. If I turn the magnet off, I can move it indicator around. There's a bit of a holding arrangement and you can adjust this holding arrangement to move the indicator wherever you may need it. Now the general idea is the magnet sits on a square base so on this case I've got it on the carriage and I'm going to move the indicator into a position where I can just get the plunger on the tip of the indicator here to just touch on the edge of my material. So what I'll do is I'll Remove that, spin that around, give it all a bit of a rotation that way, so it's just starting to touch. And I want to touch just so that the indicator starts to move, and you can see the gauge starts to move there. And I want it to just move a tiny bit, so I'm going to go maybe half a turn there like that. I'm going to try and clamp it back up. Now be careful with these gauges, you don't want to put too much pressure on them and you want to ensure that at no point did they get forced. You want it to be able to move freely, forwards and backwards. Okay, so now that we're touching the material, I want to rotate the chuck. And as I rotate the material, as long as we're touching all the way around, we should see our gauge move in turn. Now this is a pretty good chuck, it's grabbing it nice and neatly, so I'm getting very little movement on here. But essentially, as I see the gauge go up, it's showing an increase in measurement, which means that the material is pushing that way, so the point where the gauge is the highest, which is there, this is the highest point of the material. So the material is pushing that way more. So if I was going to hit it with a mallet here, I would hit it on that top face. Obviously I wouldn't do it and hit the gauge. I'd make a note of where it was. Spin it around slightly and just give it a very light tap on that side. Super good look. See the high spot is there. Now, this is very, very close. So there's a good chance that this out around here may be because the material itself is slightly out around from the stockists. Let's have a check. Yeah, we can see we've gone the other way there now. So now there actually is some variation. I've actually knocked that out of square, not out of alignment. So let's go to the high point again, which is there. I'm just going to give that a very gentle tap. So now we can see, as the gauge is moving, it's just flickering slightly between about four indentations, oh no, two indentations it's moving up and down between. 
So it's moving up and down between two notches, and two notches in this case is equal to 0 0.02 of a millimetre, which is absolutely fine for our tolerance. That's, that's a very good sort of alignment. If you have um, the gauge moving like halfway around, then that's, that's no good generally. It depends how much material you want to take off, but you want to try and keep it as true as possible. The machine will vibrate less, and you'll have much better time when you begin to turn down your material.